Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of review video and I'll be reviewing the Krabs Simply Brew Compact Filter Drip Coffee Maker. So this is a 5 cup coffee maker uh, and I have it right here. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're looking for more review videos, there will be li links in the description box below. So I was looking for a small compact coffee maker and I was searching and searching. Then uh, this uh, crops uh, drew my attention because it looks really nice and this is only you know one to five cups and that's what I was looking for and it's actually not too expensive. The funny thing is uh, when I was uh, started to track the price on this one, I just started at $50, then I, I noticed that gradually it was going up, so it became like, you know, 55, 60, 65, 70, so right now it's $70, and uh, I was able to buy it at $60, so uh, I think this is a good buy, and today I'm going to take a look at it, and we'll, we'll uh, make a coffee with this coffee maker. So this is uh, very simple there's just you know one button to press and uh, there's another feature is that you know when you're brewing the coffee you can actually uh, take out the coffee and it would pause uh, the dripping so that way you know you don't have to wait for the full brew to complete uh, which I'll uh, show you and in terms of um, size uh, so it can fit five cups or 750 ml and you can see that you know there's a large opening here where you'd put water and then uh, there's actually a reusable filter so you don't have to buy filter if you don't need to so you can just use uh, kind of this bucket filter and uh, however I do use a paper filter even with a reusable filter because paper filter can filter some of the ingredients uh, or chemicals which the a reusable filter couldn't uh, catch it you can keep the coffee warm here uh, or even w once you finish preparing the coffee so overall it looks you know fine and it seems to be working fine and uh, you know even here is the measurement of water you can see uh, let me just move this a little bit so what I'm going to do I'll just you know uh, prepare the coffee and uh, put the water in and then let's start brewing our cup of coffee with crops uh, simply brew coffee maker so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'll just you know take uh, the filter and I'll put it on top of the reusable filter and we're just going to use this uh, coffee here and just to note that uh, none of the you know reviews or products are affiliated reviews uh, the difference on this channel is that uh, I do not uh, provide any affiliated links and, and I don't take money from anyone. So what you are watching is totally honest and unbiased and I don't have any interest whether you buy or not uh, because, you know, uh, it doesn't uh, profit me anyway. And that way, uh, you know, you can be rest assured that you're going to get a totally honest uh, and unbiased opinion. So we have the coffee here, so I'm just going to, you know, get some water here. So we'll make uh, just one cup of water and I'll take uh, some cold water. So I'll let the water run for a few seconds to get it totally cold. Okay, so that should be good enough. So the way you put water, you have to just like put water in here. You can even use this, uh, you know, container uh, and but I don't use that, I just use my cup directly. So I'll just like, you know, pour water this way. And then I'm just going to, you know, keep the cup here. And here is, I believe this is called carafe, but I'm not sure about the, you know, uh, pronunciation. So I'm not, you know, trying to say it. Uh, so we'll put this container in here. And this is made of glass, so that's a good thing uh, that, you know, this is a glass. Uh, and the, even included a small uh, scoop or coffee spoon to measure coffee. So I'm just going to close the lid and uh, we'll, you know, start brewing and see what happens. So here you have to just like, you know, press it once. So you have to just turn it on and then you can see that, you know, it's lit and it's going to start uh, brewing the coffee uh, very shortly. And then we'll try to, uh, you know pause the brew in the middle so let's see if that works but when you are doing that uh, you have to be very careful you have to kind of like you know pull this slowly so it you know uh, stops the sensor uh, which I'm going to try to do it right away so there shouldn't be any coffee dripping on the heated plate so 
let's see if uh, you know I can make that work so you can hear the coffee uh, dripping noise which I actually love uh, so whenever I'm making a cough, cup of coffee it's not just the coffee I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the whole process of making a coffee and uh, if you're looking for like you know, how to make coffee at home or how to make a Tim Hortons coffee at home you can search uh, uh, my videos or you can just do search Google search how to make coffee at home or how to make Tim Hortons coffee at home and you'll see my videos there uh, I have a few videos about coffee making so now you can see that uh, coffee is coming out so let's try to take it out and see if we can stop the coffee brew in the middle so you have to be very slow and very kind of easy okay so what happened it is stopped but I think I was not like you know gentle enough so some coffee came out but you know it worked for me before but somehow it's not working uh, right now but uh, I, I wouldn't blame the coffee maker for this this is just like you know I was not uh, you know gentle enough to take it out I think I did it a little bit uh, too fast but uh, basically the sensor detects that you know there is no uh, container and it would just keep, keep uh, it would just stop uh, making the coffee but now you know that uh, this doesn't work if you are too fast so you know you can be careful next time and I think I burnt some coffee I'm getting some smell here but uh, what was going to happen that you know I'm not going to uh, you know cut this portion from the video because this is a real video uh, you know so you have an idea that you know uh, what can go wrong or how to be careful when you are trying to pause the coffee brewing in the middle Okay, so now it started brewing again And I think it's going to be a few more seconds then we'll have a coffee perfect cup of coffee and then I'll show you you know uh, how it looks and It should give you the noise or you should tell that you know the coffee is not brewing anymore when you you hear that there's no more dripping noise uh, but I can see that you know still it's brewing the coffee so just wait a few more minutes okay I think it's done because you know I can see it's just like you know drops uh, or droplets coming out uh, it's not like you know brewing heavily anymore so I have a good feeling that you know coffee making is done except I burned some coffee because I was not careful enough okay so I think this is okay to take out there should shouldn't be any more water now and you can see that you know I have uh, the coffee here and I'll just put it in uh, the cup and I'll just set aside the container our glass coffee container and then here you can see that uh, there's the cup of coffee uh, but uh, you know uh, the coffee uh, slight a little bit coffee got burned but that was I think my own fault I wouldn't bl uh, blame the coffee maker for that so that's uh, the review of the crops simply brew coffee maker so this is good for one person and up to five persons uh, and you know it doesn't take a lot of a space so that's a very good thing uh, and it looks very you know nice uh, that's the reason I bought it so you can see that you know it's not too bulky or too big and uh, if you're uh, you know if you need coffee here and there uh, throughout the day then definitely you know it's better to have a small coffee maker than a big coffee maker so that's the review of the crops and uh, I'm totally satisfied or happy with the product uh, I couldn't find any fault or anything and also I noticed that you know uh, this company before I didn't know them but after buying the uh, you know this I found out that they have been uh, making coffee makers for a while and actually it's a very popular uh, brand and uh, their coffee makers last quite a while and again uh, no one paid me I purchased everything with my own money and uh, you know uh, there's no affiliated links no nothing thank you for watching this video there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you